Hey guys, it's Chad out here in Las Vegas. I'm hosting the All Chapters Annual Barbecue for Cadillac Kings. Um, we have about 60 Cadillacs and about 200 people. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. We actually got some good weather too, man, it's awesome. Yeah. We have about, um, out of the 42 clubs that we have worldwide, I think about 30 showed up, which is cool. If you weren't able to make it, uh, you missed a great time where uh, we have food, we have cars, we have uh, family, we have a stage, we have music. But we're going to be cruising the, uh, the strip later on tonight. It's going to be amazing. It's, uh, it's a good time. My name is Wes Hornung. I'm a founding member of the Cadillac Kings. This is my 67 Cadillac DeVille. I've had it probably about five years or so. Um, just got an LS swap in it. Drove it out here to Vegas for our barbecue. Just had, uh, this paint job is actually like 20 years old, but I had the scallops done on it. The only thing I've really added to the car is the LS motor and the scallops. There's some airbrushing down here below. And um, I changed out the steering wheel did some work on the trunk, um, but uh, the the lowrider headlights and all that was on there when I bought the car, so it came with it. We started in 2005, and uh, we were kind of the result of uh, the LaSalle Club not really allowing um, customs into their club. So uh, some friends and I, we would go to shows quite often, and uh, we were just kind of um, looking for a club to start or get with and um, we applied to the LaSalle Club but um, they didn't allow customized vehicles. Our cars were painted and um, had airbags on them and were uh, customized in that way, different rims and tires than stock. So um, it wasn't really their cup of tea so we kind of got our own thing going and um, we found out there was a, a large group of individuals just like us that appreciated the customized Cadillacs and uh, that's kind of how we started. This was in 2005 so we're going on 17 years and we're at uh, about 43 chapters worldwide and now we got chapters in the UK and chapters in Australia and Canada so we're spreading out all over the world. The only place we, we don't really have a chapter yet and we're looking to is in uh, is uh, is the Japan Asian sort of uh, countries that we're, we're, we're trying to expand to there and as soon as we get through that language barrier we're gonna make that happen as I said we're 43 chapters so we have events all over the country um, at different times we're at our yearly barbecue right now which is held here in Las Vegas and uh, it keeps getting bigger every year I don't know how many cars we have out here today probably 60 or 70 um, but people come in from all over and uh, it's kind of become our, our spot for our yearly barbecue here in, here in Vegas. So if you, uh, if you have a classic Cadillac, we, have, uh, we accept all Cadillacs 76 and below. Um, look up your local Cadillac Kings. You'll find different chapters all over the United States and uh, in a few, quite a few different countries. So look us up. You can find us on Facebook or uh, on the website, um, CadillacKings.com. So check us out. I'm with the Inland Empire chapter in uh, California. I've been in the club for about eight years. This right here is my 63 Sedan DeVille, work in progress. I bought her um, about a year and a half ago from a gentleman uh, in Long Beach, originated the car originated in Hollywood. Since I've had the car, I have been doing a little bit of work to it. I have uh, done a chopping blocks uh, front end with uh, Slam Specialty uh, Air Ride, and uh, I've done the trunk up, and uh, she's, my, she's my girl. And uh, I love it, and uh, the club is a family club that we all get together quite often. One of my passions that I have is Cadillacs. I, ironically enough, I was online and uh, it popped up and uh, I have a home down in Long Beach and uh, I noticed that the car was in Long Beach so I hit the ad right away because it was a decent price and I was the first one to hit the ad so 
I got a hold of the guy and he says, you're the first one that called, come down. I said, I'll be there in the morning. And uh, I walked in there and uh, he, uh, I made him an offer on the car and he accepted it and it was a done deal. I picked it up the next day. If you don't have a Cadillac, you need to get a Cadillac and join the Cadillac Kings Worldwide Car Club. See you on the road. We've been members, um, I'm from the Fresno, California chapter, and we've been members since uh, 2019. And uh, originally, I wanted a Nomad, a 55, and my husband bought me a 65 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, and the rest is history. And then I got my 66, built her, she got done in, she actually got done in 19, the color. It is Cascade Green Iridescent. Her name is Ivy. <laughs> she's amazing. Had all the chrome redone, had from like the ground up. She's bagged on AccuAir. She's got a uh, chopping block front back. It's called the Cadillac Kings, but truly the queens are gonna take over one of these days. So we need you women. Cadillac Kings is amazing. We're one big family all over the world. Let's go ladies. Here at the annual uh, Cadillac Kings barbecue, we're here in Las Vegas and I am with the Las Vegas chapter. Really happy to, to be part of this uh, barbecue and be here with all of our Kings. I brought a 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, she was a wedding gift from my husband and a couple of guys from the club, Chad, Josh, and Ryan, my husband, uh, surprised me on our wedding day on December 3rd with this beauty. I fell in love with her right away. 1967 was the first year they did uh, front wheel drive and she drives like a dream. Um, beautiful green color. My family is Colombian and we love emeralds and emeralds are just just my favorite color. So I kept it uh, close to the original color of Tropic Mist, uh, Tropic Fire Mist, something like that. But uh, yeah, I love it. I'm just so happy with her. I even got a matching keychain. The hood pops up too, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> I've been a member now for six months. I love the fact that uh, Cadillac like Kings is, is just a group of family that comes together and uh, are able to just ride out and enjoy our cars. Uh, I love that seeing other women in the club, it's really empowering. We're here to support our husbands, but we're also supporting our, our love for, for these beautiful, beautiful cars. And you know, it's, it's just a great time. So ladies join, don't be afraid. It's good. It's good to, to support a club like this. brought out uh, my 1959 Cadillac. It's called Pretty Penny. Um, we're here at the annual Cadillac Kings show in Southern Cal or Las Vegas, sorry. And uh, it's a good time, amazing turnout. So it's not my favorite color, but it, it, it is pretty amazing. You get different opinions of what it is, uh, whether it's Beaumont or whether it's uh, uh, Persian sand. It's kind of a mix between both but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty. It's on full air ride, it's on uh, level ride suspension, um, 20 inch uh, wire wheels and uh, white walls. Um, it's uh, tri-power, so it's, it's pretty much of all of my cars that are hacked up, it's, it's the most uh, original. This one I've had about a year. This one's good, it just drives, you can get the family in and it cruises and doesn't have a problem. I trailered it here, but uh, no, she's, she's not a trailer queen. Daily drive it, I'll drive it in the snow, I'll drive it anywhere, I don't care. That's what, they're, that's what they're for. It's an amazing club, I mean, you get such a diverse group of, of people that are almost like family, especially when you actually get to meet them versus being online, you know what I mean? And then you actually get to see the people that you're talking to. If you're not a member of Cadillac Kings, you need to be a member. So this is one of the crazy stories. I've always wanted a Cadillac limousine, 1960. My dad and my family grew up with Cadillacs. 
The last time my dad was with us was with a 1960 Cadillac limousine. Long story short, I've always been looking for it. He had one previously, dark blue one. I've always looked for one. I currently have a 60 Fleetwood. Found this, found it on eBay, saw a picture, put a bid on it. Didn't even know how to bid, just put a bid on it, put another bid on it. Five days later, I got a, uh, a thing saying that I was, uh, was going to lose the bid. 47 seconds left, I hit the button, walked away, looked at my phone, I said it was outbid. Three hours later, I look at my phone, it said I won the bid. So here I am, sight unseen, didn't even drive it, talked to the guy, nothing, and I just got really lucky. And uh, thanks to Chad, Chad received my car, put the white walls on it, detailed it, and got it what it is today. So. So I saw it at the barbecue for the first time, and I figured since I bought the car, I wanted it at the barbecue to represent, and I'm just, you know, go all out, so. And it's funny, because I was talking to one of the guys earlier, yesterday, and he goes, this crazy guy bought this Cadillac sight unseen, this limousine 1960, and I'm like, you're actually talking to that crazy guy, so it was a pretty funny story. Fortunately, thank God, I built a house around the garage, so I got a 28-foot deep garage, so yes, I'm good. Yeah, if you guys ever need a ride in the limo or need to sleep or have date night and do whatever you do in the back, I got you. Yeah, well, it's a 1959 Cadillac Series 62 convertible. Uh, very rare car, you know, convertibles. Um, bought it about a year ago. It was someone else's restoration project. And I uh, was lucky enough to pick it up and complete it. Um, just did the bags on it, AccuAir system. Just completed the convertible top. Uh, basically get it finished up where we can start driving it. A um, lot of fun to drive, you know. Uh, joined the uh, Cadillac King Car Club about a year ago, and uh, it's been fun, you know. It's, a, it's like a large family here, and uh, had some issues this morning, broke down on us. All these guys pulled over, helped us out. Uh, it's incredible, you know. It's really like a family. It's, it's a really neat, uh, neat group of guys here, uh, women and, you know, and men. You know, it's it's pretty much done. I've done a lot of work to it, and it's it's ready to go. So some fine tuning of the engine and some of the other components, but other than that, it's it's ready to go. And it's yeah. Got the stock engine in it. Yeah, stock engine. Yeah. Someday when it needs it, I'll rebuild it. But for now, we're just going to drive it as long as we can, and you know, enjoy it. I like the stock look. You know, although the uh, that convertible top, that fabric isn't the stock what it normally came with. I think it came with a vinyl top, but uh, we chose to do the. Uh, I don't know what you call this, but uh, it's it's uh, it's just a little bit more black. Enjoying life with my family and my Cadillac. Well, I'm here with Jared today talking about my supercharged four hard wheel drive scooter. I've met some good friends out here having a good time. And you too can have your scooter built by Detroit's finest. You just got to look for them.